Hello history fans, welcome back to the historical baking show! So today we're going for some deep fried sweet treats that are called Dalian sweets and there are lots of other ancient recipes for things like cheesecake or pancakes that we can do in another video but you'll have to comment and let me know if you want to see that but today I wanted to go with Dalian sweets so what we need is 170 millilitres of water and 60 grams of flour and we're just going to boil the water, add the flour and make it into a weird paste thing as step one. And now, so like I said, we're going to add the flour to the water and we're going to mix it till it makes a dough. Um, and I'm going to make a lot of mess, yep, whack the flour all over the oven, there we go. And then we whisk it and wait until it forms a dough. While we wait for this to start cooking, we'll have some of the history, shall we? So, Alexander the Great's battlefield diet would have largely consisted of meat, bread and vegetables, but when he was at home he would have had much more elaborate meals that would have included these daily and sweets, because ancient Greek feasts would have featured a large variety of foods. So we do have quite a few ancient sweet options to choose from. So basically, we have evidence of these Dalian sweets all the way back to Alexander the Great. That was a really quick process, turning it into the dough took like two minutes tops, so that's really fun. Um, and then we put it onto a marble slab to cool, but I'm going for a plate. So now we let that mixture cool before we deep fry them. So this, um, the sweets were first written about by Athenaeus, the historian, who describes them whilst he's talking about the people of Delos giving an offering to the goddess Iris. So that's where our first um, description of them comes from. But his recipe is apparently quite difficult to interpret, um, but he does tell us that figs were often quite nice to serve with them as well. And he says, and so this is Athenaeus 645, on Hecate's island, says Semus in Deliad 2, the Delians sacrifice what they call Basinaii, B-A-S-Y-N-I-A-I. -I. They sacrifice what they call Basinaii to Iris, goddess of the dawn. It is wheat dough boiled with honey and the so-called kokora, which are dried fig and three walnuts. So that's where the first idea of these sweets comes from, or was written down anyway. I'm going to heat up the oil so it's ready to deep fry the little dough balls when they've cooled down. Test that the oil is ready for the frying. You've got to put a tiny little bit of the dough in first to check. So this is me just showing you that it's ready to fry. And then to be honest, I didn't really time them. I'd say they took maybe three minutes, but I've only really got like six minutes of footage of me doing this anyway. So maybe they took less than that. I'm not sure. The first one, I think that's a bit pale, so leave them in until they're a bit more golden brown. But back to the history. So we just spoke about Athenaeus's version of the recipe, but later the historian Apicius wrote down his recipe, and he is also where we got the recipe for an ancient burger, so he's quite interesting. So Apicius tells us this. Another sweet. Take durum wheat flour and cook it in hot water so that it forms a very hard paste. Then spread it on a plate. When cold, cut it up into lozenges and fry in best oil. Lift out, pour honey over, sprinkle with pepper and serve. So, the recipe I'm following is apparently the one that Apicius gives us centuries ago. And his is the original from the Greek island of Delos. And we use his because apparently his method was clearer than Athenaeus's. And now let's listen to that sizzle. I should wait for them to cool properly before doing this, but I'm impatient, so this is what one of them looks like. I'm not sure if like that side's underdone or not. I mean, they're all a bit different. I feel like that one looks the best colour-wise, and then we've got like a dodgy one. But, so, um, we're going to put some honey on it. Now, apparently pepper was commonly used um, as seasoning for sweets, but was more recently replaced with nutmeg. So you find nutmeg in a lot of recipes. Um, but I've got some pepper here because apparently it's good with the honey and it's what they would have done because nutmeg wasn't known to the ancient Greeks and Romans. I'm gonna dip. I'm nervous, I'm not too keen on pepper. Anyway, we've got to try it. We'll try it. Okay. 
Oh yeah, so it's got some honey and pepper on it. I mean, I could just taste the honey, so I probably didn't put enough pepper on there, but that is really nice. Can you hear that flat? They're really yummy. This is what they look like in their little bowl served with honey and pepper. Um, they also could have had sesame seeds, no, poppy seeds, poppy seeds they put on there as well. Oh my god. Um, but I don't have any poppy seeds, so there we go. Oh my god, I'm going to eat that one that I just dropped because I can't serve that to my family. Well, there we are. I suppose it's just deep fried dough so it's a win-win because it's quite simple. Um, oh. um, I will do a proper bake next time because I feel like the past two. This was frying and the other one was, yeah, it was baking, if I made the pastry. Anyway, I will do another baking video soon. That fly. Go out the window. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again for another video. Bye.